So today's a really exciting day. We're back at home. We just spent about five days with the Paradigm team doing an air show. Cats are really excited to see us. But that's not the only reason why today's so exciting. Let me show you guys something. So a couple videos ago, actually two videos ago, I picked up this guy, this behemoth. It's the uh, Fly Products Rider. 140 centimeter propeller. It's got the different reduction on the Moster. It's foot launchable, but the cool thing about it is that it's multi-purpose. You can mount this motor to a trike and fly solo trike. You can also mount it to uh, the same trike, put another harness on it and do tandem trike launches. I've got one flight on her so far, foot launch. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. But the real exciting part about this is that I'm getting a trike to put on it. I'm gonna learn a whole new skill set flying a trike solo first. And then once I feel confident solo, I'm gonna throw the tandem harness on, get the tandem wing out, and start flying tandems with Jacqueline, my mom probably again, and any interesting random person that I can find uh, that would like to go for an introductory tandem flight. So the package is set to arrive today. It's supposed to be showing up on a pallet of some sort or in a big box with a delivery truck, lift gate, the whole nine yards. So this video, the goal is gonna be to wait for that package to arrive, unbox the new trike, try to set it up, figure out how it goes together. And if you can't tell, it's really windy today. So I'm not confident we'll be able to fly it. We'll probably taxi it. And in the next video, we'll be doing the first solo flight on the trike. So this is it, my trike has arrived. And I suppose this is what you can expect if you order a tandem trike, big old box. No wonder the shipping was so expensive. So I guess I'm just gonna start breaking apart this box. We'll dig in and uh, assemble her right here in the yard. Okay, here we are. We have transported the ginormous package over to the garage space here. And I also brought along the Fly Products motor uh, that you saw on the second to last video, and the lovely Jackelson who will be assisting me. Um, I guess the goal here is I'm gonna pull apart this big box, and by the end of this, we should have the trike set up with the motor, and I should have kind of an understanding of the system, and we'll see how she maybe cruises around the yard. Um, like I mentioned, I probably won't be able to fly it today. That'll be in the next episode. So let's tear open that box. Watch out, this is going down. Hey! I had a feeling it would be pretty much already assembled. So I think this wing here um, is it's some sort of tandem wing, a Mag Max or something of the like. My friends at Aviator, I asked them about the Triox, which is the new hot tandem trike wing that everyone's raving about. And I wanna get one, but apparently they're 95 days out on order. So in the meantime, before I can get my hands on a Triox, my good friends at Aviator are loaning me this tandem wing, which I'll have to figure out what it is, but thank you guys for the loaner wing. Once I get proficient at flying the trike solo, I'm gonna be doing tandems on this here wing. That is very interesting. Enjoy your new means for transportation, blue skies, Ellie and Alex from Aviator Paramotor. Sign up for training today. All right, we might have to team lift this. We'll cut these things off and then lift her up and out. Holy heck. Ain't no flying today. I'm gonna sneeze. These are not tears of joy, these are allergies. Right 
Okay, so this is literally how the trike arrives. We just picked it out of the box and it's pre-assembled. It's in the collapsed mode, I suppose. And the box, for reference, Jack is approximately the size of a coffin. Hmm, isn't that weird? It fits me! Ship me somewhere warm. Okay. Flash Cruiser User Manual, version 2.08 English. We start on number three. That's strange, safety first. We'll go ahead and skip that. Dimensions, don't need that. Assembling your trike flash cruiser, page five. To assemble the trike, start by releasing it from the straps applied after folding. Tucker. <laughs> That's the trike. Okay. Oh. oh. I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> and back to reading. We're getting somewhere. That's a lot of tension. I might need you to put this pin in. Can you hold this with your left hand or right hand or whatever? You got the little push thing. Stick it in. There you go, that's good. There we go. Okay. See, that's pretty good tension. Teamwork, woo, teamwork. Yeah. Trikes. So aside from the harness adjustments and the hang points and all that, I think assembly is pretty much done minus this bit here. And this is, they call it the uh, cockpit, dashboard, something like that. But it's multi-purpose. You can put some sort of dash in here, like if you want an altimeter or something, or maybe I could put a phone mount, watch cat videos while I fly. It's multi-purpose. So apparently it's a little bit of roll bar protection for the pilot and passenger. Um, but also this is how the A assist work. So trikes use an A assist, obviously when we fly foot launch, we pull on the A's to inflate the wing, we let go and then we have the brakes and we take off. But trikes, you can set up the A assist through this mechanism, which basically means it pulls the A's for you. You gun the power, it pulls the wing up and you're just on the brakes ready to go. I was talking to Judson about it and he said that you definitely wanna use it on tandems, but if you're flying solo, you probably don't wanna use it and just do the A's yourself. I'll figure that out as I go. But yeah, this just gets Velcroed down and then I'm gonna read about the harness adjustments um, and how you configure this for flying solo or tandem. And then I think basically all that's left after that is mounting the motor on the back.
Holy mackerel. That was the first time I ever taxied a trike in my entire life. I can see there's a little bit of a learning curve, but we're gonna get there. It's not gonna be bad. Okay, very much initial first impressions. First time ever taxiing a trike. That thing goes. We don't really experience that acceleration on feet because our feet can only run so fast, but the wheels can go really fast. So yeah, acceleration is pretty quick. The steering, I can see how it could be a little bit twitchy. Like once you get up to speed, you don't wanna move too fast. You wanna keep everything locked in straight. Um, but it did feel stable. Like once you get going fast, as long as you don't move your feet, it's stable. I have two other thoughts that I wanna talk about. One in assembling this trike, very much similar to some thoughts I gave on the uh, paramotor engine itself. Everything on this trike and this whole design is designed to be modular. The way that it can fly in three different configurations and break down like you saw it arrived in that box, there's a lot of straps. There's a lot of Velcros, there's a lot of buckles, there's a lot of things going on. You know, these cables. And me personally, I'm all about simplicity. The more simple it can be, the better. And all of these little buckles and things hanging off and even the wires, the rigging, it just drives me nuts. It makes me feel weird. If you're of the same personality type, you can probably relate. If not, I probably just look like a weirdo. But it's something I'm just gonna have to get used to because everything's a give and take. There's a lot of straps for a reason, and the reason is that it can break down and then it can morph into a foot launch, a solo trike, and a tandem trike. It has to have all these straps in order to do that. The other big thing I wanted to talk about is I've often heard people, subscribers, talk about trikes with a negative connotation, meaning if they're an older guy and they're maybe not as physically fit or capable, they look at this sport and they're like, well, I really wanna do it, but I don't wanna be one of those lame old guys on a trike. And I think there's definitely some sort of stigma there. And my thought is always, what's better? Sitting at home watching other people do it or the next best thing, doing it on a trike and you're actually flying and you're like 99% of the way there. May not be quite as pure as foot launching, but I don't think you should shy away from getting a trike if that's gonna be the thing that's gonna allow you to actually fly. So yeah, those are my two thoughts. There's a lot going on, a lot of straps. I'm gonna have to get used to that. And two, if you're old, disabled, any other thing that's gonna prevent you from foot launching, Look at doing a trike. I mean, it gets you in the air. It's 99% of the way there. Aside from that, I'm gonna wait till the next episode to actually try flying this thing. That's all for this one. I can't reach the camera, but peace out.